We've got all these lovely images of Jamaica behind us. Today. We've got Tim. Hi, uh, how you doing? We've got Raoul. Hi. And we've got Fred. Hello. It's great. Yes, yeah, so we are going to teach you this week how to do some reggae music from Jamaica. We're going to have great fun um, doing this. Now, the way that we always teach is use something that we call the three stage teaching method. We're not going to go into that now, but if you don't know what we mean by that, please go and watch one of our other videos. It's the Brazilian Samba Drumming video number one. And we talk about our three-stage teaching method in there. Now, one thing that's really important to know about reggae music and the style of music is that everything is what we call in music being swung. Now, what do we mean by swing? That's nothing to do with a swing you might hang in a tree or you might go to the park in. Because basically, when you have music that isn't swung, it's called straight. And a lot of the music we're used to listening to is straight music. So it's kind of where, if you imagine we're going to count the beats, it goes one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. I see everything is the kind of same thing. It's all kind of nice and even. But when you swing it, it kind of goes jumpy, 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 jumpy. So you can hear that sounds very different to one and two and three and four and we've got jumpy, 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 jumpy. So could you maybe, on your chest here, could you maybe go jumpy, 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 jumpy. Now I'm going to change the other one going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three. Now we're going to change to jumpy after four. One, two, three, four. Jumpy, 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 jumpy. One, two, three, four. Stop. Great. That's the first thing that we need to get used to in reggae music to make sure we understand that this music is swung. So we're going to learn some different parts. So shall shall we start with Raoul? And Raoul, if you could just unmute yourself for me, that would be great. And um, Raoul, can you show us the part that you're going to play? Well, I'm going to play the bongos. It's bongos because there are two. Uh, so, but we're going to play one at a time. So, and the, uh, the, um, the jumpy, jumpy, we can even say reggae. Uh, reggae, reggae, reggae. So you, you take a little long on the reggae. Uh, reggae. So, so let's start with the, the weak hand, which is the smaller uh, bongo. They go reggae, reggae, reggae. Re no, a little slower. A one, two, three, four, a one. Reggae, two, a reggae. Oh, that sounds good. Keep going. That's just the weak hand, remember? Now we have the other one. So now we're going to divide. So it's uh, reggae on the, the small one and reggae on the larger bongo. Here we go. A one, two, three, ready, one. Reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae. We keep going. Reggae, 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 reggae. And we're going to stop. Reggae, stop. So after seven, we're going to stop. So one, two, let's do it again. A one, reggae, two, reggae, three, reggae, four, reggae, five, reggae, six, reggae, seven, reggae, stop. 
Fantastic. Oh, that's yeah. fantastic. Now, Raoul, can you just um, talk to us just how you're playing those? Are you using your whole hand to play them, or are you using just your fingers? Or what are you doing? Okay, so with, well, with the whole hand, you have a totally different sound, and it's not really the bongo style. That's more the conga style, which is a different instrument altogether. But uh, we go for the finger, the fingers. So, uh, or you can use the middle fingers, or the first fingers, just one finger. Uh, but uh, now the, the first would be higher, and the second one, use the whole, the, the four fingers, like that. So you've got a, a kind of a, a sharp sound with two fingers, and then the, the second a bit lower, uh, the, the, the four fingers on the edge. So one, two. can you hear the difference? So if you go, uh, with the fingers, it sounds a bit, uh, uh, so that's close. That's good. Uh, so that's a, a nice contrast. Raoul, that is absolutely brilliant, Raoul. Thank you so much. That really helps us um, understand how to play that correctly. But of course, wherever you are, you might not have real bongos. So Fred, can you just show us what can we use if we don't have real bongos? Yeah, so I've just got two pans from my kitchen and I've got them on a table and I'm just going to play them just like Raoul said. So one. Stop. Like that. So I've got the heart of a smaller pan, which is making a higher sound and a bigger pan, which is making a lower sound. But you'll have to test your pans to see what makes a higher sound and a lower sound. Yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you very much, Fred. Really great. Um, so, I don't, from my understanding, it doesn't matter too much way, which way round you have the drums, um, just whichever way you want to have them. So, you know, I'm left-handed, so I want to have them one way round. Other people being right-handed might want to have it a different way round as well. So it's up to you. But yes, you can use those kind of things like Fred was showing us to create um, some nice sounds at home. Now, the next thing that we need to learn how to do is how to play some shakers. And with the shakers, um, there's lots of different types of shakers. These ones here, these are maracas. Now, when we play maracas, best not to hold them right at the end, but hold them a little bit further up so you've got a bit more control. And we also need to kind of imagine that we're bouncing them on a table. If we just kind of go like that, then they don't sound so great. If we make sure we kind of bounce them, kind of have a little bit of a flick movement, then they sound a bit better. We can also imagine we're bouncing them on a wall in front of us. And if you want to learn more about how to play shakers, go and have a look at our Cuban videos, because you'll see in our Cuban videos, we kind of really explain how to play maracas there. But remember, our rhythm is the shaky, 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 jumpy, 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 not one and two and three and four. And, and that's really important on the shaker part to get that jumpy rhythm. So jumpy, 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 jumpy. That's the sound we want. Now, you want to maybe start with your stronger hand. So for me, I'm going to start with my left. Jumpy, jumpy. That's what they sound like. And of course, you could, if you don't have maracas, you could instead use some of these. I love these little shaky eggs. And with these, you can do it at the same time together, or... And that's quite nice if you do it that way, because you then get the beads moving a little bit more inside as well, and it creates a more fluid movement to it. So that's the shaker part. Um, but if you don't have real shakers at home, I wonder if there's anything else you could do. So, Tim, um, what, what could you do? Well, the instruments that are most easy to make at home, and we've been doing this a lot, haven't we, is um, are, are the shakers, I think, because everybody's got an empty bottle or an empty cup or a, something with a lid on it. Um, and my, my favourite things to use are my coffee cups. Um, uh, which I have far too many of because I always forget to take them with me when I go out. But um, and you can it, it depends what you put in them makes a difference to what sound you get. So this one has got beans in it, dried beans, so it's quite rough sounding. This one has got rice in it, so it's a different sound. And then you can see in this one, this one's just a, an old uh, jar with a plastic jar with a lid screwed on, and that one's got lentils in it. Now, it all depends on what kind of food you you like to cook at home, what you're going to have available, isn't it? So some people put pasta in them. I've even, even seen some people put old nuts and bolts and screws in them as well. So you can play the same rhythm, and you can choose which sounds you want to mix together. 
and it just makes it more fun. And if you can get two that are similar, that's good. But even if you have two that are a bit different, that's also good. So yeah. enjoy it. Find some, some things that you find make good noises, experiment and make yourself some junk shakers. Yeah, there we go. So look, this is a bit of a, um, a DT lesson as well. We're kind of learning how to make things as well. So there we ask, isn't it? We got, we're learning actually lots of things today. So um, when we think about all these different parts we've got, we're kind of going one reggae, two reggae. That's kind of our pulse we've got there. Now, pulse and rhythm, they're things that we've talked about this before. Everyone gets really confused between the definition between pulse and rhythm. Now, they are really, really important that we understand that, particularly as drummers, that we understand what those two words mean, because everyone makes sure that the drummer has to make sure we understand it, so we make sure we're playing the right thing. We're not gonna explain that now, but go and have a look at Samba video number one, and that will show you, because we did a lovely little explanation there about the difference between pulse and rhythm, exactly what we mean. But I tell you it'll be great. Do you think we can put everything all together, yeah? So let's see, we're going to have um, maybe, um, yeah, I'll play the shakers, I think. And um, Tim, you can go back to your cajon that we're going to learn next lesson. So come back, tune in next time so you can watch the cajon. And um, Fred's got the tambourine and um, Raoul's got the bongos. So, yeah, you can choose either if you've got shakers or if you've got the bongo part. Um, if you've got bongos or saucepans, you can choose which one you want to play. Shall we put it all together? Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, go. <laughs> So the shake part is shaky, 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 shaky. Remember it's that jumpy swung rhythm. And if you want to move around a little bit with the shake as well, you can do that. So remember, the bongo part goes like this. There is one, two, three, four, one. Reggae two, reggae three, reggae four, reggae five, reggae six, reggae seven, reggae stop. One, reggae two, reggae three, reggae four, reggae five, reggae six, reggae seven, reggae stop. This is not the end of the lesson because as we've always said in all of these lessons there is a quiz that goes with this lesson because we've given you actually quite a lot of facts quite a lot of stuff that you need to remember so have a look on the website you will see the quiz there and you can answer all the questions check that if you know everything also what we would love if you haven't yet subscribed to our youtube channel it's at inspireworks uk or it's inspireworks uk you can find that on our uh, on youtube please subscribe to that because we've got loads and loads of different videos on there not just these reggae videos and then you won't miss out on anything new that we put up there but we will see you next time for our next reggae video thanks so much everybody bye bye